All right, welcome back in everyone. So today uh, we're doing the video I talked about before, and that is to show you how I figured out how to sync things into a rock face. Um, it is not going to work if you're doing it into a placed block wall. It needs to be something uh, that is terrain material, and you'll understand why once we start trying it. But it actually looks pretty cool and still functions, you know? I mean, obviously the bucket doesn't do us any good in the wall, but it looks cool that way. And then I can, I don't want to show you the secret. There's another thing we're going to try, and that's that skull you see on number three down there. Um, I was able to get it in the secret area, and you can, I don't know that many people even noticed it, but uh, we're going to go back over to my other test world, and I'm going to show you... Oh, well, we're going to attempt to make it work, because full stop, this isn't very easy. It's one of those things that kind of happy accident, if you will, as I was working on that section there and I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. And then I'm like, yeah, what else can I do? And I just kept working on it until I figured out cool stuff. So this spot over here is really nice because this is something the devs left here. I have not uh, terraformed this section in at all. I just stopped right there. And so I think it would be a good test for us to try to do it. So first let's try this uh, chest I have right there, number four. So normally when you take and you put a chest in, you'll chunk out a double block. You'll stick your chest in and everything's happy. You move on with your life. If you try to do it into stone, you get some interesting results. So we're going to double block chunk it out. And you see how it even just it really did a weird thing. And this is the whole point behind this. Is it just, yeah, it, it just does weird stuff. So we're going to get this. We're going to face it the right way. And let's see if I can even get it to work. Because, okay, so it works there. But I don't think it's going to stick out far enough. It's maybe... Is it going to do any kind of angle for me? It's not giving me any angle whatsoever. We'll go ahead and place it. I think... Uh, let's see. Let's sink it in right there. So the idea is you, you, you put it in, and then you are going to go into this. You're going to hit Y. So now we have a chest that is sunk into the wall. Now, this isn't that impressive because it didn't do any kind of angle. And this is why I say this is, is not easy to do. So another way you can try it is do single. Come on. And I want to do single back. Come on. There, so I have another point to get to. No, don't sit down. Okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, see, 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 this is what I'm talking about. It's really weird. It's like sometimes it wants to do it and sometimes it doesn't want to do it. Like there, I'm, I'm angled forward, if you look. It's angled forward, so that would be a cool way to do it. But let's see what else we can get here. I kind of like this, this janky angle right here. Let's see if I can get it into the hill some more and get the janky angle. It doesn't look like it, so I think we're just going to have to settle like that. We're going to hit Y three times, I believe. Well, I mean, that's still really good. So you've got a little bit of an angle on it, and the chest still works. And it just looks like it's now part of the hillside. And it works exactly like we were hoping it to. So let's try out again. Let's go into this, and let's see what we can do with this bucket. So for the bucket, it doesn't need to go in as far. I'm just going to do one. And this is how, how you can find out how a lot of stuff works. So this is ground, but if you notice, see how it changes all kinds of different shapes, angles, and everything? This is, I don't know, uh, someone mentioned on, on one of my videos, the uh, showing people how to think about things. This is This is literally what I do. I will constantly move items over surfaces like this. Like I could have this going into the to that right there, and it gives my base a different look. It makes it more interesting because I'm 
doing something that isn't normal. It's not the standard, oh, place a bucket like that. Oh, I'll turn the bucket like that. It gives a different angles. Well, that's how I figured out how to do this. So now we've got our one hole, and we want this to kind of stick out some. But I, but I need it to be buried in there. Let's uh, turn it so it's a little more interesting. And let's see what this comes up with. I mean, that works. That that did exactly what we were expecting to do. It is buried. Maybe not buried quite as much as I would like it to be, but it does work. It does function. So now, the thing I did in the hidden space in the the, the uh, uh, secret area in the 3.3 uh, is uh, this one's a nice flat surface. So I buried some of these skulls into it, and then I put a, that um, fencing material, that big grate in front of it, so it looked like there were skulls in the wall, like maybe uh, the uh, the collector guy, that's just where he buried all, all the dead bodies and all that stuff that he's been experimenting on. So with this, it's the same thing. I'm going to take out one piece. We're going to go in here. And what I'm trying to do is to get weird different angles. Like, normally you wouldn't have a kind of 45 angle on it, right? I mean, even that's still a little odd. And then, if I'm careful, maybe I can get it to... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to do... Okay, so let's try... Okay, so it was straight that way. Let's try like... Well, let's see how that ends up. I have a feeling it's going to cover the whole thing. So same thing, I'm just going to hit Y. I mean, sort of, it's a little much. I would say that's covering it a little too much. So let's try replacing that. So I didn't really like that placement very well. So let's try, I think that's going to stick out too far. Man, it looks, doesn't look like I have a lot of option in this one. Well, let's try from this side. Try like... What I also don't want is I don't want the backing of it showing. Because I think that's going to ruin the illusion. Well, that's even worse. <laughs> so, like I said, it, it's, it's tricky getting this just the way you want it. Let's try... All right, we'll try. We'll try it sticking out. I have a feeling like it's gonna be too far, but we're gonna try it. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't like that you can see the fire. The idea would be you just have the skull, a portion of the skull sticking out. But this gives you a, another idea for you, especially if you're building crypts. Someone on the uh, what was it the the screenshot and photo uh, channel in Discord was like, man, I really wish I knew how to build crypts better. I'm like, just go take pictures of the ones uh, Keen built. They're really cool. Queen's Tomb is awesome. Uh, but this gives you a really good uh, option uh, to use. And what I like about this one versus just the skull candle is this one projects out from the wall. So since this gives you a little bit of, of outward projection, it gives you a way to... Uh, put this into a spot better. Let's see what we can let's see. Okay, that looks like it's a nice weird spot, weird angle. Uh, probably not not weird enough though. Same thing. I mean, eh, it's a different angle. It's a different little thing. Normally, when you put these, your option is straight that way, straight that way. So it does give you more option to place things and then you just kind of have to play around with it trying to get it into the wall how you like it make it look oh you know, think of um think of a pirate's cave right and it's been there for years or centuries even and you've come in and you found the booty and it's in the pirate cave but it's there's been cave-ins and mudslides and all kinds of stuff over the years and this is the kind of thing you would see half buried into the wall all right thanks for watching everyone